And Richard is here now to answer a few questions about this intriguing story. First off, how long is it going to take the DA to determine whether or not he wants to go forward with a new trial? Well, that's the, that's the other twist in this story. There's a new DA who took office in January. She promised to uh, review this case personally. The thing is, the police file, the case file in this thing is like between 13 and 1400 pages long. So she's got a lot of work to do. I think it's going to be a couple of months before we know anything. Wow. wow. Um, you sat down with David for what was a very emotional interview. What stood out to you? Well, I've, I've interviewed him over the years uh, throughout the really bizarre history of this case. He uh, has, uh, uh, has always maintained that he had nothing to do with it. Um, he, you know, it's interesting when I said what was it like getting out, he, he, he almost... It was almost like he didn't know how to answer that. Mm -hmm. he, he, he was flooded with so many different kinds of emotion. Um, you know, he'd been, he'd been in prison for nine years, and in Texas, you know, they do, they do hard time. Right, for sure. So he, had, he has a lot to, to get used to now. And, you know, there's always a chance he'll go back. What about his former girlfriend, Heather? What's going on with her? Well, she is now his wife. Uh, he, uh, he married her a couple of, a little bit after uh, Belinda's murder, which is what made him... A such suspect. a suspect. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Um, but, you know, uh, as, as the defense lawyers are fond of saying, just because you're an adulterer doesn't make you a murderer. But it didn't, it didn't help his case, yeah. I'll tell you that. It's not a good look, as not they say. Not a good say. look. Yeah. No. Richard, in, in the interview, he says, I see my family one at a time. What did he mean by that? Well, that's, it, that goes to what I was saying earlier. He sort of, he, he sort of is, is drinking in this new experience sip by sip. Sip by you know? sip, right. It, the, you you got to realize, I mean, he's been locked up for nine years. A lot's happened. His son has grown up, uh, raised very well, apparently, by, by his wife, Heather. Um, you know, he's seen him over the years, but it's always been between, you know, on opposite sides mm -hmm. of the glass. That's a lot to deal with. So he's sort of, I get the sense that he's sort of re-entering life, you know, a little step at each step at a time. That's probably so. the best way to take it. Absolutely. Well, I think it's the only way to take yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Richard Schlesinger, thank you so much for stopping Thanks by. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. And don't forget to watch Richard's full report, The Alternate Suspects, tomorrow night on 48 Hours. That's at 10, 9 central only on CBS.